Well, many of us are used to paying for streaming services for movies and music these days, but we've got an option for you that's completely free and it's available at your public library. Free, you had me right there. ABC Action News reporter Eric Waxler is here now with a resource that many don't even know is available, Eric. I know, dear. this is great stuff. Public libraries are trying to keep up with changing technologies and that includes being able to check out movies like these without ever leaving your home. For example, at the Palm Harbor Library, once you have a library account, you can go to their website. There's a whole selection of digital materials. The newest streaming service they use is called Hoopla and has a large selection of movies from classics to newer releases. It's similar to Netflix and Hulu, but free. We don't just have Hoopla. We also have Overdrive, which we've had for years. We have Zinnia. We have uh, recorded books digital. If you look at that entirety, it, it, the collection is massive. More and more, people are all moving in the direction of iPads and um, iPhones and things like that, and, and that's the way that this is intuitively designed. There are limits to how many movies you can check out each month. Along with movies, there are TV shows, audiobooks, digital magazines, and even apps. Most public libraries offer some version of these services, so if you haven't been to the library lately, Go see what's new. Of course, they still have those old-fashioned books, too. Oh, good. I was hoping you'd say that. What are books? Yeah, yeah. I know. <laughs> uh, I, was talk I was just talking to Eric, and they, you know the old card catalog? You know mm -hmm. what they have in there now at that? that library? Seeds. You can go in there and check out seeds for flowers, herbs, whatever else, and oh, just take gosh. them and go plant stuff. Wow. So they That's found cool. a use for the old thing, too. That's pretty, cool. That's pretty nifty.